So just the other day, OnePlus announced the OnePlus 7T Pro, and they also announced a brand new OnePlus 7T McLaren Edition. Both beautiful devices, but essentially the same phones they announced about six months ago. If you're buying the OnePlus 7T Pro, you're essentially buying a slightly faster version of the OnePlus 7 Pro. The only difference is you get a Snapdragon 855 Plus, slightly bigger battery, the new warp charging, which can charge 23% faster, and a slightly different color. You're getting this style of blue instead of the darker version. But here's the thing. The OnePlus 7T is on the market now, and quite frankly, it's a lot cheaper. It's like $150 to $200 cheaper in certain countries. And you're not really losing that much in comparison. You see, OnePlus is trying to be a lot like Apple now. Apple releases the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, and then their cheaper, good iPhone is around six or seven hundred dollars, which is the iPhone 11. And the only difference between those devices is a camera lens and the display, 828p versus an almost, almost QHD display. The differences here are a lot more minor because it's not like you're dropping down from a full QHD display to 828. You're only dropping down to a full HD display. But the thing is, you're not losing the most important feature, and that's the 90 hertz panel. You see, for $150 less, you're getting the same specs, you're getting the same cameras, and most importantly, you're also getting a better feature, at least in my opinion, you're getting a flat display display. I know I mentioned this in my other video, but typing on the OnePlus 7T is significantly better than typing on the OnePlus 7 Pro. I think if you're in the market for a brand new OnePlus device, the OnePlus 7T makes a lot more sense for everybody. And you still get the dual speakers. I think they kind of made these devices a little bit too similar and didn't really offer a huge spec difference or feature difference between both of these price points. Now, if you're an enthusiast, you might still gravitate towards the 7T Pro, especially if you have the money to buy it. But I think most people, including most enthusiasts, are still gonna buy the 7T over the 7T Pro or the 7T over the 7 Pro just because of its price point and just because you're pretty much getting the exact same features. Anyways, I'm not depressed that the 7T Pro didn't come to North America because quite frankly, the differences are not that significant for it to be that valuable. If you're picking up a 7T, let me know if you're picking up the 7T Pro or the 7T. And if you had the money to buy one of these devices, which one would you choose? Because my bet is most people would still choose the 7T. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.